Special thanks to my super sponsors, Schumann 3D Blast, Shine Wolf, Ministry of Ennui Control, Metric Conversion, Rune Fox, Mr. Brun, Lemon314 and Lord Entropy. Visit patreon.com slash davidxnewton to join the ASCII Brigade. Okay, uh, now that I've peeled myself off the floor and the world stopped spinning, it's time to take stock of where we are. So I've been going now for about seven and a half hours. Uh, we've got all three of the uh, pages that we needed, and I'm wondering now what to do with them, uh, having completed that objective. I'm wondering if there's something to do with uh, this item here that we, we saw the... Uh, we saw them being put into before. No, that just uh, gave me the same animation from the start of the game again. Uh, so, can we drag them on, do you think? Yes! Yes, we can! Oh, what a lucky guess! <clears throat> and I think we've now got uh, some kind of uh, light boxing arrangement. Oh, alright. Maybe we don't, because that's just disappeared. so easy, is it, Atris? Running like a rat through a maze, looking for some sign that'll help you save your world. Is it over here? Is it over there? Is it someplace I can't find? Cirrus and Akinar didn't care about saving Narayan. All that talk about fixing instabilities, rewriting the age so that we would be free to live our lives that was just talk to hide the truth of why they had come. But we believed their lies, Atris. So we abandoned our traditions, forgetting that those traditions were keeping Narayan alive. And when the last tree started to die, I followed them here to tell them what they had done. And they laughed. They said they would never fix Narayan. They said that they had already taken everything it had worth saving. So my dear old friend, Atris, I brought you to this place where your education begins. Find the remaining two symbols and then come see what your boys did to Narayan. Okay, so I'm getting the impression I should have been doing this uh, throughout the game, uh, but I'm glad to get uh, all three of them together now. Because I think putting them all in context will make them uh, a bit more hard-hitting. This what you expected, Atris? When you follow me here, hoping to reclaim relation, this classroom, what you expected to find. I read your journal, you know, in Tamana. After I found your linking book abandoned outside this observatory, I read all about the Dunning, how you started their world again. Can you really do that, Atris? After everything that's happened to Narayan, could you start their world over again? I don't think so. I think there's too much blood on our hands, too many ghosts. Surely you can't change that with a pen stroke. One more simple, Atris. Narayan is waiting. All right, here we go. So I'm seeing just out of frame that it's copying the symbol onto that disc, but it's strange that, uh, it's really strange that they didn't show that in frame. You've done well, my sons, but there's still one task ahead of you. The 
blinking book you see here connects to an age called Narayan. It's a very delicate age where civilization has emerged in response to the world's imbalances. It's also the first inhabited age I'm sending you to alone. But don't be afraid. The knowledge you've acquired here will show you the way in. Use it and see all that Narayan has to offer. Hmm. You know, I have been questioning uh, H's parenting skills throughout this game, uh, leaving the two sons to be uh, zapped, electrocuted, falling off cliffs and rolled around in a giant marble. Maybe he had ten sons and was uh, subscribing to the philosophy of only the strongest will survive. But uh, here we go. Uh, this is Narayan. Or what's left of it. I'm not really sure what we're going to find here. Here we are. All right, this uh, is very uh, distinctly tentacly. There's some disturbing sounds happening around me. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, we'll just try to remember all of these, shall we? Let's see. Um, so do these translate to bits and the symbols I already have? Ah! <laughs> I, th I thought there would maybe be three of them, and it just keeps on going and going forever off into space. Let's see, because that's... That's merge, or half of merge? Oh no, hang on. That's motion... And... Uh, where's the other one? Uh, not that one. That's intelligence. It looks quite similar. I'm looking for uh, a symbol with a curve on the top and then a circle and then an extra little uh, flake off to let that's it. Motion and future. Was that the one that I got from... No, I'm pretty sure that one was uh, Amateria. Motion and future is uh, Voltaic. Let's see, the, the one that looks a bit like a flower hanging over is Nature, of course. And what's the other one? There's a moon on the side. Spur? Yeah, it's Spur. Nature and Spur is uh, Edana. Motion and Future is Voltaic. Change and... Cycle? No, not Cycle. It's quite close. Um, where, well, there it is. Okay, force. So, change force, and motion future, and nature. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, oh, is in, is actually encourage. I don't think I had that one. It is encourage. What did I think it was? Spur. Okay. It's not, it's not quite the same. Encourage nature, future motion, and uh, the other one. Uh, force change. Force change. Encourage nature. And then future motion, which uh, doesn't make sense. Alright. I've also uh, been reminded that I should be reading uh, H's journal again, because it might start making a bit more sense now. I'll do the speed read, and uh, then I'll get back to you. So he talks about the ages needing a... a, a sort of cornerstone, uh, a concept that the New Age has to reflect that will best allow our civilization to thrive. He says that energy is the underlying fuel that powers all activity. Our en energy powers future motion, which is uh, something I just read off that big board. Each of the strength of weaknesses. Are there any other uh, nice bolded phrases that are going to leap out to me? Here's one. Nature encourages mutual dependence. That's uh, Idana. As one life withers and dies, it provides nourishment so that another might live. Plants become food for other animals. Okay. So each time I centered the writing around some dynamic force that I decided to make prevalence in the age, forces allowed the balance between forward motion, uh, voltaic, and mutual dependence, Idana, to fluctuate. As one concept takes precedence, the other recedes. Dynamic forces spur change, which is... 
Amateria. This, uh, it's, it's almost like a, a magic eye I'm staring at. Because I know what it's meant to be saying, but I just don't quite see it yet. So what else have I got going on around here? This looks, uh... No. Not going to move that anytime soon. Let's see then. What about other buttons and switches? Oh no, is this going to be a direct the pressure to the right place puzzle? Well, let's ignore that for now. We've got uh, something that resembles a door here, but uh, I don't see any way of getting through it. And there's uh, a bit of a more promising route up here. Oh dear. I'd, uh, I'd really like this uh, wet slapping noise to stop. Hello! Yeah, sorry about your plan, by the way. What? Yeah, I know. You're not. I'm not too pleased about it either. Where is he? Look, I know he's here. I have his book. So where is he? He's in the emergency department with third degree burns. He didn't come. I take relation from him, and he sends you instead. You thought that you could force him into coming here, fixing things? Why? Why would he rewrite Narayan? Because of your messages? Because of your paintings? Look at your world. Look at what's left of it. When are you gonna get it to your thick skull that you do not matter to him? Is this the part where you kill me? We're stuck here, you know. Yep. The linking book back to Chananan is gone. Left behind when I linked out of Atris's study. And as for getting in to Narayan, look around you. This chamber is the only way in. And Atris installed some kind of shield, and I have never been able to get past it. Not once in all these years. So you're just as stuck here as I am. At least until I open this book and I show Atris what it's like to watch your friends and relatives die. If you do find a way out of here, I suggest that you think very carefully using it. Because the one thing I know about linking books, the doors they open, don't close behind you. Alright, I suppose I'll have to open that for him then. Um, it's a shame. That was actually some of the most obvious green screening I've seen in the series so far. It was very ambitious that he could move around on the whole plane, but he didn't have a shadow and the lighting was all wrong. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, still. Interesting touch. Now he's finally uh, realised who I am, or who I'm not, really. I don't even know who I am in this game. Um, what do you suppose this does? Makes a noise. Sometimes that's enough. Uh, I suppose uh, I can't get in here, can I? No, we're as stuck as we were at the start of the game. Let's go back down here. Anything doing here? Oh, that's weird. There's no transition there. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I didn't expect something to work quite that easily. 
Uh, all right. So do I just keep going like this, or what? Oh dear! All right, let's take a look at literally anything else first. Uh, I wonder what would happen if I uh, turned this handle. And does that provide power to this other one instead? Or in addition to it? All right, so there's a, a single one of those patterns here. Please tell me, do, do they... Do you overlay them on the here, or what, what happens? I can't do anything to this one. And that switch in the middle does power this one, because this isn't doing anything, any, anything anymore. Kind of glad that uh, I happened to check Atrus's book again, uh, just very recently. Oh, for God's sake! All right, so we know this much. We need to write the phrases, energy powers future motion, nature encourages mutual dependence, Dynamic forces spur change, and balance systems stimulate civilizations. On those pods. It's like, it's like a sequel revenge of the uh, Danny numbers. I think I'm going to have to write all these out on paper first and then try to translate them. Okay, I think I'm beginning to get this. Um, I'm basically shouting at my microphone from the other end of my death now with a bit of paper. Um, it looks like we've got we've got these three sentences to start off with. We've got energy powers, future motion, we've got nature encourages mutual dependence, and dynamic forces spur change. So if we look at this one uh, from Idana first, uh, if we look that way, okay. Uh, the top one is nature. If we look to the right, it is encourages. It's the one I thought was spur at first. Where is it? There it is. Encourage. So that's on the right. Uh, if we look at... Uh, actually, use, let's do this one. Um, this, this was the one from Voltaic. And the ones here at the bottom says future, which is... Uh, where, I wonder? It's somewhere on here. Future, yeah. The bottom one says future. And the right one says uh, motion. Right, so that means they write their sentences exclusively consisting of four words in top, right, bottom, left order. And uh, if we look at the last one over here from Amateria, We've got uh, something, uh, something forces something change. Where is it? Yeah, so change is that. That's the fourth one. It's in the west uh, side, and the other one would be forces. Yeah, and that's on the right. Okay, so we've got to construct the four sentences by filling out the remainder of the words and then getting the entire symbol and then programming it into the machine. Uh, possibly in a way that lets the light through on the sides. I'm, I'm going to turn around again and show you. Um, possibly in a way that lets the power here flow from there to there and then from there to there and from there to there. Um, this is largely going to be an off-screen effort, I feel. Uh, but I'll come back and let you know how I'm doing. Alright, here's my attempt at one of them. Nature encourages mutual dependence. Uh, and this impossible language made of such subtle differences in the lines. When they were writing these tapestries and translating them to English, did they, did they not think, Oh, an alphabet! This is exactly what we need! Forget all the rest of it! Alright, we're going to try to program that into this. And uh, let me think. So, it's not going to be this one, because there's no, uh, there's no wire up there. Um, it might be this one. So, that starts at the bottom left and it finishes 
there. So that does touch both of those points, and this one, this one doesn't. Okay, because that's identical to that one, which is a bit of a shame, really, because that means I don't know which one goes where. Uh, let's put it into this one, then. So I'm about, uh, it's two days, I'm, where, when am I recording this? It's uh, Friday the something of April, time has no meaning anymore. Uh, Friday, it's Friday the 16th of April as I'm recording this, uh, after a bit of a long break because I was doing that uh, series of Doom Map videos. And uh, yeah, I'm getting my second vaccine uh, in two days. I was, I was able to skip the queue a bit, and I'm sorry, uh, because uh, my thyroid barely works and neither does my brain. Um, but it, it's fantastic that uh, we might be lifting ourselves out of this relatively soon. I'll continue to hope for all of you. Ah, we have got some electricity! Now I've got to do that again two more times. Alright, here are my latest two efforts. Uh, on the third, I had a flash of inspiration. I thought maybe if I copied the pattern down first, I might be able to draw the symbols over it. Uh, it turns out I was much worse at drawing the circles than just drawing the symbols uh, by themselves, so uh, that's a bit of a mess. Uh, I'm going to start with Energy Powers Future Motion because it was the first one written in the book, and maybe there's uh, some kind of uh, maybe there's some kind of relationship there. We'll see. There's Energy uh, Powers. Uh, not sure if that's on or not, but we'll uh, we'll come back to it. Future. I hope you won't be too annoyed that I've uh, just stormed in here after millions of years he's been here and uh, uh, I've solved the thing in five minutes. There we go! This is dead easy! So a rabbit walks into a bar and hops up onto the counter and the barman says, oh, what, did, what would you like? We, we don't really get rabbits here. And the rabbit says, well, I'll, I'll have a beer, please. Uh, for just whatever's on tap. And uh, your bar menu looks nice. I think I'll have a cheese toasty. So the barman goes and gets him his beer and it calls the cheese toasty into the kitchen. And uh, the rabbit sits there and drinks the beer and has his toasty. And then he says, well, that was nice. I think I'll try a toasty with ham in it next. And the barman calls through to the kitchen again and eats the toasty again and has another beer. And the rabbit says, uh, OK, now let's try, let's try a cheese and onion toasty uh, with pepper on it. Let's go mad. And uh, the rabbit eats his toasty again. And then he finishes it off. And then he falls down dead. So the barman, slightly confused, takes him out to the bins at the back and uh, chucks him in and then turns the lights off, goes to bed. In the evening, uh, the ghost of the rabbit appears at the bottom of the barn in his bed. And he, terrified, says, Are you here to haunt me because I killed you with the beer? And the rabbit said, No, I didn't die because of the beer. It was my fault. I died of mixing my toasties. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Right, these symbols are... Uh uh, I, I feel I've almost got it. There's something not quite right about one of these, and I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to have to go back, I think, and uh, look at the slight inaccuracy. Right, let's have another look at this. So we've got uh, dynamic, which is over there. Okay, that one looks okay. And then forces. Uh, yeah, this one. This one looked a bit strange. Okay. Okay. Well, remember that one. Uh, and then spur. Uh, oh, that's got a that's got a tick in it. 
was that, did I highlight the wrong one? Maybe, maybe let, let's pay attention to spur. And then the other one was change, which is uh, like a like an orange growing on a uh, a branch or something. Okay, let's go back there. Yeah, this was my problem here. Uh, I didn't put that one in. Or I did put that one in. Or, uh, oh, hang on. Um, uh, hmm. uh, yeah, that one's definitely right. That one's definitely right. Not sure about this one. Oh, that, that's it. Alright! We are... we have completed quite a significant puzzle. But I wonder... Should I be putting the last one in as well just now? I thought this might be the, uh... This might be the last one... Oh no, it's, uh... It's... it's gone again. Um... If you could please tell me that... Yes, that does open behind me and I don't have to put in all of those again. Um... All right, let me let me just write down the last one. Balance system stimulates civilization, and then we will be on our way and doing things again. I promise. Actually, I don't have any of the other symbols. I've got civilization, and I've written that one down, but uh, I don't have balanced or systems or stimulate. Uh, and I've looked for uh, uh, homonym, not homonyms. What's the word? Uh, syn synonyms, uh, but I don't see any. So I think uh, we're going to. Leave this behind for now, and uh, go on a trek up here. What's this pentagonal thing? Uh, not important is the message that I'm getting here. Uh, that looks like a precarious uh, way of getting through it. Can I get through that shell? With the... Uh, it's not exactly going to ram through it, is it? Ah oh, well, I suppose I'll see what happens. All right. Where's... Can I do anything here? What does this do? That's a... That's... Uh, that is nothing. No, I'm not... Uh, I'm not getting anything from here. Maybe I need to take another route. Let's... Uh, let's go down these stairs. Oh, I can get to Tamana! Great, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that. Ah, great! Another huge wall of words! Uh, hold on a second. Someone's got hold of the synthesizer, I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, that's the last one. Uh, let's go and put in balanced systems, stimulate civilization. Sorry. What? <laughs> Where did I click to get that? Oh, I didn't need to go back in there. I need to go back in this one! Alright, here we go. I'm going to put that up on the screen again, so... Uh, balanced. Nice and easy. Systems. Uh, again, much easier than some of the other symbols to write down. Uh, stimulate was probably the hardest. Um, uh, let's just cut that sentence out. Uh, that stimulate and civilization. A nice symmetrical one. There we go. Okay, we're out of the cage. Uh, Brad, I've got some good news for you.
They're alive? How did you... Uh, hold on a minute. This is so amazing having other people fiddle with the switches that were just part of puzzles before. It gives me hope. Oh, you can't get out while you need someone to pull the switch for you to go through the airlock. And I've got Tamana, I can I can let him go. You see, I still have something that he wants. Something that he sent you to bring back for him. Relation. Drop the outer barrier when I'm out by the gondola. Switch the shield so the outer barrier is open. Yes, yes, yes. And in return, I'll give up relation. That sounds fine. Can you not just squeeze your way through those bars? Because it looks quite easy. Do it. I, w <laughs> I would have liked to do it immediately rather than... Uh... Oh, I wonder... Is he going to betray me? Uh, do I need to get Relation first? Let's do a quick saving of the game before I go any further here. All right. Where is he? What are you doing? Go back inside. Like, can you speak up a bit? What are you waiting for? Okay, but I want to see the bad ending first. Drop the outer shield, or I swear I will let go of this book. Well, we got the bludgeon to death ending. Oh, that's uh, that was a, a, a bit less elaborate than some of the uh, other bad endings we've had in the mystery so far. Nevertheless, all right, let's let's uh, not waste our entire game this time. Alright, um, I suppose I go down and get it now? Oh, bye then. I'll just wait for the next one. All right, but that is not a bad. I thought uh, I thought I might have to uh, do a sneaky third thing, but uh, apparently that isn't the answer, and I'm uh, I'm going to have to find uh, relation some other way. Can I get through here now? No. Nope. Um. Well, if it's if it's home to you, I won't judge it. Oh, I suppose let's have a look outside. Uh, See if I can see where that book went. 
Maybe it fell to the lower floor somewhere. They tossed it off here. Uh, let's go down these stairs then. No. I suppose I've uh, got to go back to Tumana then. Maybe HS will have some advice. Oh, nice to be back. Hi. You've returned. Atrus, Atrus, come quick. The fire burned the linking book you used. We had no way of following a thought. You've returned. <laughs> and where's Relisha? Did you bring back the book? All those people. Everything we worked so hard to restore. Oh, Atrus. Without that book, they're lost to us forever. Well, I feel pretty bad now. I don't know about you. So do I... <laughs> okay, the, the gravity of that scene was somewhat diminished by H is coming out in this scorched shirt and glasses wonky on his face like he's in Dad's Army or, or a cartoon or it's Tom and Jerry or something. But um, let's see what happens if I go back to Tamana first. It's interesting the mechanic in these games of being able to teleport to another world, but you can't go back unless you have a linking book to the back to the world. So you need to carry one with you. All right, is this just going to give me the same thing? Oh, okay. Um, so option three, not much good either. Uh, I'll just try again. Oh, that, all the way back here? Oh, I'm loading myself. So what can I do now? Can I, can I tempt him to drop the linking book and then just biff him? So after that rather underwhelming first band ending, I'm beginning to see the cleverness of, uh, you know, Riven here again, where there were about 17 of them, depending on exactly when and where you used the book. Can I go back to Tamana after I've, um... locked him out? But before I... But b before he drops the book off? Or is that all one cutscene that I can't interrupt? Well, the exact same thing happened, uh, but the fact that the fact that I'm still here and I can still make decisions before I go back to Tamana makes me wonder if I'm meant to take this route and then somehow restore the book. Oh, what does this do? The upper switch gives me the chance to trap him here. So that he must give me the boot before. Okay, quick, uh, let's, re let's reload the game, quick. That's definitely it. Steady on, Brad. I was about to say you're really being dramatic, but uh, that is literally your job. I just want the book. Hand me the book and I'll set you free. It's okay. Uh, 
I really feel bad for this villain. Well done, mystery writers. Okay, so... This... Yeah, here we go. I just want the book, I'll set you free! Want the book. I wish I could speak as a missed pr pr protagonist. I'm going to set you free! Uh, granted, I have been naively trusting of you before. I can't do this again. Please don't leave me trapped here like this. I can't. No! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Oh, I, c I can leave him trapped if I want. Oh. No, I, I don't have the heart to do it. I really don't. I don't want to see that ending. Look it up yourself. Okay. We're all calmed down. Moist the main snail. Have a nice time. I'll come and visit. Okay, um, I've got release Shan. Uh, I don't think there's any point to me hanging around here. Oh, can I just go to release Shan? No, that's uh, quite firmly locked. All right, probably just as well. Let's go back to Tamana. Oh, don't ask. We're going to be here a while. Well, I ended that game not completely stranded by Atrus, which is honestly a nice change. At last I can rejoice, for Relishan has been returned to me unharmed. The age I hoped would provide a new beginning still lives on. I'm sure that no danger shall befall it. And as I sit here writing in this journal, I rejoice to know that Narayan too is safe. The secrets of its past have been unlocked, and old wrongs have finally been righted. I know now that we can't escape the past, nor can we rewrite it 
hoping to lessen our pain. The best we can hope for is to continue to learn, to take from the past only that which is good and move on. Perhaps in the process, we will build a brighter future. And that's it. That was Exile, the sequel to the sequel to Mist. And as much as I never thought I'd be saying this, this playthrough series has really changed attitude since the beginning, but I really liked this game. <laughs> I don't know what you've done to me, but uh, somehow I really enjoyed this story and my time in these bizarre puzzle-filled worlds once again. Uh, this one felt a bit shorter than the others. It looks like in the end I came in about eight and a half hours, uh, which was about the same time as Riven. It might have felt shorter because there are just three ages to explore from the hub instead of the original game's four, and you can't really say what Riven was. The number of individual girls in Riven is sort of uncountable. It all merges together. Uh, and I might just be getting used to the way that the Myst games want me to think, but dare I say the puzzles in this one all made sense? Maybe the sort of missed ethos of letting you explore and fiddle and work things out for yourself just works a bit better in the context of these ages having been essentially constructed as tutorial levels. Uh, I did have to look at the UHS three times, but all of those, without exception, were for single clickable spots that I just failed to notice, and I didn't need help actually solving anything. Idana was particularly confusing to navigate compared to the other ages' definite paths, and uh, I'm really glad that I got that one out of the way first, just at random. The final puzzle with the nightmarish number of LED buttons felt like a callback to the marbles from Riven, didn't it? When you're given a, you're given something that looks totally overwhelming, but you're meant to combine clues from throughout the game to work it out. Uh, I liked this one a little better because it was more guided. Uh, the trouble with Riven was that it's so incomprehensible as you're playing 90% of it, but then you put it all together right near the end and everything you've done starts making sense and it's this huge, uh, this huge reveal moment. So you're only understanding what you're doing after you've done it. But uh, on the other hand, a lot of people liked that Riven was so unusual in being really freeform like that and they were disappointed that Exile went back to giving you definite goals to achieve. Uh, I did like the story, once again, especially now that I'm so charmed by FMV games again. Uh, Wormtongue, or Savidro, was really justifiably infuriated with uh, Atrus, and I really felt bad for him. If the, if the protagonist could talk, it would be very justifiable to say that I've also been caught up in Atrus' machinations, and I've been driven mad by being cast through all these different puzzle worlds, and just have a drink with him and sort it out, instead of having to manipulate him into doing what we want. I was... I was disappointed that he was still very antagonistic towards the end, because uh, I couldn't talk to him. Uh, I didn't quite get how he had changed the symbols that unlock the tower, because, first of all, on a practical level, was he up there on a window cleaner's platform in Amateria repainting the gigantic lines on the cliff, and re-magnetizing all the rocks in, uh, what's it called, Sel Voltaic, that was it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and also, to change the symbols, he must know about what they meant and what the magic sentences are. He, he's even read Atrus's journals. He was sneaking into his study, so that it means he does know how to solve the final puzzle, and I'm not sure why he didn't. Um, granted, he would have been slightly stuck anyway, unless he, he just constructed a big pole and uh, pulled the lever from the outside, as he could very easily do. Uh... Also, it seemed he could get to Tamana any time without even doing that. He could have dragged Atrus there any time, and in, instead of manipulating him into, into all of this. So I don't know what's going on. It, it, maybe in Riven, you had to think to piece the story together. In this one, maybe it's better that you don't. All right. Um, the fourth game is called Uru, and the fifth game is called Mist 4, Revelation. Uh, Uru was sort of a side story, I think, from what I can gather that worked a bit differently, and I'm not sure whether to include it or go straight to 4. Either way, I've got some projects to knock out before I really get started on either of them. You'll have seen the Doom tutorial videos and playthroughs, which continue to accelerate the number of requests I've been getting. Uh, and I also want to start my own Doom community project aimed at beginners sometime soon. But we will return. Uh, once again, I'm very interested to see where we go next. I love all your insights and comments, and particularly Patreon subscriptions, if I'm being honest, but... Either way, I hope you'll come along once again and fry your own brain along with my own. See you then. 
thank you to everyone on the left here for supporting me creating Stumbling Tours videos. If you'd like to join in or make suggestions for other games to cover, please have a look at David X. Newton on Patreon.